are talking about the movie Howlers. No, sadly, this is not a horror film about killer howler monkeys. It's actually a werewolf movie, also known as High Moon. This one is written and directed by Josh Ridgway and stars Sean Patrick Flannery and Chad Michael Collins. You've got a couple of other familiar faces here as well, including, the I think, the director of the uh, Cherokee Kick, along with a couple of uh, Playboy Playmates as well here. So this is a kind of Old West-infused werewolf movie. It actually starts off in the Old West, where we have this kind of group of varmints who happen to be werewolves, and they are facing off against this, essentially a werewolf hunter. And there's a big conflict, and it's cuts to these guys getting kind of seemingly kind of killed, but um, it cuts then to modern times, and these are somehow, for reasons, resurrected. The werewolves and this kind of werewolf hunter guy. And it's this, it's kind of a fish out of water uh, story to a certain degree, where we have these kind of like, these characters from the Old West, now kind of in the, in the modern era, uh, our, our werewolves go from kind of being these kind of group of outlaws, they attack this biker gang and take over their kind of their bikes and become like werewolf bikers, whilst our kind of our, our hero character, you know, it ultimately kind of teams up with the kind of the local of town sheriff and the, uh, a group of uh, locals. So that's your kind of your, your basic kind of plot synopsis, so to speak. Uh, so what do we think about Howlers? It's a low budget film and actually has a kind of TV feel to it, almost like it's a pilot episode of uh, an, you know, an attempt at a TV show. It definitely has that kind of feel to it. So what works first of all for me? This, uh, the tongue in this one is in, definitely in cheek and there are some fun elements here. Uh, I actually think the, the characters are, um, you know, so, at some points quite fun. I mean, they're very cliche and we'll come on to that, but they're, they're also kind of quite fun, sort of fun characters, easily defined. I actually quite like the fact that we are given some context, especially with our kind of sheriff character who is probably the most grounded, you know, his wife's having an affair, etc. and... Uh, you know that he he has quite a kind of a, a grounded character. I quite like them, and our kind of our werewolf baddies, if you like, are all quite fun. The actual werewolf makeup is a mixed bag. Um, it reminded me a little bit of the kind of the Michael Jackson makeup from the Thriller video. Some look better than others. Our kind of our main werewolf, I feel, the the most amount of time probably suitably has, has been taken on him and, and kind of looks quite good. I mean, they're not overly bestial werewolves. And the other thing that struck me with this uh, this film is that there's actually, there's actually the fight choreography is actually pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of kind of like hand-to-hand -hand combat scenes and I actually think they're, they're pretty well choreographed and, and the stunt work and the choreography is all, is all pretty good. And there's, there's quite a lot of action here. Some reasonable kind of uh, gory uh, sort of kill shots and a relatively kind of high body count. So what doesn't work? So let's circle back to the characters. Although I, I, I think they're somewhere quite, you know, well-defined. There are, there are some that are simply caricatures. Um, Sean Plastic Flannery's character is the, the mayor, who of course is dastardly. And we know this through because he's having an affair with the sheriff's wife, etc. So you think, okay, well, something's going to befell him, clearly, because he's, we're making it very clear he's a bad man. And some of the kind of the character work here, you know, it's, like I said, it's a mixed bag. And I, I've got to say, our, our, our hero character, um, this kind of time traveller, well, I guess he's a sort of time traveller, is a bit wooden and boring, if I'm honest. I think the, uh, the, the sheriff was a more interesting character. Um, because there doesn't seem to... It's just a very generic kind of hero type, this, the stoic kind of hero with a tragic backstory. It's nothing really uh, too unusual that kind of defines him. Uh, and then getting back onto the makeup, although I think the kind of our lead werewolf's makeup looks quite good, some of his cronies looks actually quite laughable and almost like, it almost looks like clown makeup on, on, on a couple of them, but obviously just sort of uh, with different kind of colour schemes. But uh, yeah, the, 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 the werewolf makeup is a little bit... Um, hit and miss uh and just the overall kind of feel of it it's, it's like i've said it's, it's a very much like a kind of a tv pilot um 
and it's just a little bit too cheesy. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could poke holes in the logic of this one, obviously. Our, our, our werewolf bikers seem to be able to uh, master riding a motorcycle within a couple of seconds. There's a real kind of like um, MacGuffin for how they've kind of got to uh, modern times and things like that. Things are just kind of swept away. So don't be expecting any kind of development or, or, or real kind of uh, plot points or stakes here. Um, so it, it comes down to this is kind of a very much a B movie, very much a kind of a, a silly kind of, um, you know, silly concept, but it does have some elements of fun here. Um, I think the actual, uh, some of the characters are, you know, they're, they're just fun characters for a kind of a, you know, a straight to DVD, straight to VOD kind of a, a B movie horror action kind of hybrid, I suppose. And it's, I, I quite like these sort of genre mashup ones that you sometimes get. And, you know, so this is, this does have an element of fun and it is quite exciting at times. And there is quite a lot of kind of action and violence and stuff. Um, so I don't think this is a bad effort, but it doesn't do anything to kind of really push itself out for outside of its comfort zone and uh, therefore becomes a pretty much a kind of average kind of straight to video, low budget kind of horror film. So in that respect, I will give it a five out of 10, a bang on average movie. You kind of pretty much know what you're gonna expect with this one. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.